So now that we discussed the friedel crafts alkylation reaction with benzene, let's take a look at the following example in which our goal will be to devise the reaction mechanism for this particular friedel crafts alkylation reaction. So basically we have our benzene, we reacted with the tert-butyl chloride in the presence of our catalyst, aluminum chloride, and we form the tert-butyl benzene. The question is, what is the reaction mechanism? So the first step of this reaction is basically the formation of our strong Lewis acid, our good electrophile. So the way that we form it is by using this tert-butyl chloride and the aluminum chloride. So we have our tert-butyl chloride and this molecule basically reacts with our catalyst that will be regenerated at the end of our reaction. So basically the first step is these two lone pair of electrons basically form a bond with this aluminum and we form a resonant stabilized intermediate. So a very stable structure because it's stabilized by the delocalization of charge as we'll see in just a moment. So basically we have this forms a bond with aluminum. Now this develops a negative charge while the chloride develops a positive charge. Now this, this is resonance stabilized because what can happen is this sigma bond is now relatively weak. In this case, this carbon chloride bond was strong, but now it became weak because we developed a positive charge and a bond between this chloride and the aluminum. So what can happen is this can break off and we can form the following second resonance structure in which we basically have this tertiary carbocation that has a positive charge on this tertiary carbon. And of course, we have the rest of our molecule, our Cl, with our two lone pairs. So we have no charge on the chlorine now. And we have this molecule that still has our negative charge. So basically this will be used in the second step and the third step to basically reform our catalyst as we'll see in just a moment. So we have resonance stabilization between these two structures. Now, what exactly is our second step in this reaction? So basically in the second step we have our electrophilic substitution reaction in which the benzene, our Lewis base, the nucleophile, reacts with this strong or good electrophile, the strong Lewis acid. So this was a weak Lewis acid, but this reaction created a good Lewis acid. So now this good Lewis acid can react with our nucleophile, the Lewis base, our benzene molecule. So basically we have our benzene molecule. Here's our benzene molecule. Now the question is, will our benzene molecule react with this intermediate or with this intermediate? So if our benzene molecule reacts with this intermediate, it has to react via an SN2 reaction. But because this carbon has a lot of methyl groups around it, we know that such an SN2 reaction will not take place. Remember, an SN2 reaction will not take place if the nucleophile is very large and this carbon is very sterically hindered. So that means that, that our nucleophile will not react with this intermediate, but rather with this open carbocation because this relatively large nucleophile will find it easier to actually form a bond with this open carbocation. So that's exactly why it will react with this one and not this one. So here's our open carbocation that has a positive charge on this carbon. And we basically have 
one of these lone pair or one of these pi bonds, let's say this one, forms a bond as shown and we form the following resonance stabilized structure. So we have these two pi bonds here and let's suppose it goes onto this carbon here. So basically, now we have a positive charge that develops on this carbon. But of course, because we have two pi bonds here, there will be resonance stabilization. So basically, we have three different resonance stabilized forms. So let's draw them real quick. So we basically have this can go onto this, forming a pi bond here. We have a pi bond here. We have our tert-butyl group here and we have the positive charge moving on to this carbon. And in the final form, the resonance stabilized form, we have this bond going on to here, and our positive charge is now delocalized on to this carbon here. And of course, the bond moves over here. This bond is here, and this is our third butyl group. So we see that not only do we have resonance stabilization here, we have resonance stabilization, uh, stabilization in the second step. Now in the third and final step, we have deprotonation of the benzene taking place to regenerate, reform aromaticity. Because in step two, aromaticity is lost. Even though this is resonance stabilized, we no longer have an aromatic molecule. And the purpose of step three is to basically reform our aromatic benzene molecule. So let's suppose we're at this intermediate. So we have a pi bond here, we have a pi bond here, we have this terbutyl group, and we also have an H atom that is attached to this carbon. And we have a positive charge on this carbon. So basically what happens is, in this step, we basically had this molecule here. So when our benzene interacted with this molecule, we had this complex left over. And this complex will play a crucial role in the final step of our deprotonation of our benzene to reform that aromaticity. So this contains a negative charge now remember, we not only want to reform aromaticity, we also have to regenerate our catalysts because catalysts are not used up in reactions. So basically what happens is this chloride uses this sigma bond and breaks this bond, takes this H atom, and these, this sigma bond basically becomes a pi bond between these two carbons on our benzene ring. So we form, we reform our benzene molecule that now has been alkylated with the third butyl group. So this is our third butyl benzene. And in the process, we form HCl and we also regenerate our aluminum chloride catalyst that we began with in the initial step. So basically we see that this Freelocraft's alkylation reaction takes place via three mechanistic steps. In the first step we have the formation of our good Lewis acid, the formation of our good electrophile shown here. This electrophile is resonance stabilized and only this intermediate will actually react with the benzene because this is too sterically hindered for the reaction to undergo an SN2 reaction. So the benzene in step two will undergo electrophilic substitution in which the benzene Benzene acts as a nucleophile attacking this Lewis acid, forming this resonance stabilized structure. And in the final step, in order to regenerate the catalyst as well as regain aromaticity inside the benzene, we have this carbocation intermediate basically reacts with this molecule here. This bond breaks off, grabs this H forming HCl in the process. This forms a pi bond, reforming, resin, uh, reforming aromaticity, and this also reforms our catalyst. 
So this is our catalyst that has been reformed, and this is our third butyl uh, benzene. And so this concludes our example of devising the mechanism for this particular Friedel-Crafts alkylation reaction.